possible chest there is another one let's freaking go that's it right there boys that i think is actually the level three chest if i'm not mistaken look at that thing look at that thing the amount of stuff protecting that is insane Hello everybody, welcome back to the episode of last day on our survival today we return boys and girls ladies and gentlemen I hope you guys are having an absolutely fan fantastic day of the most amazing variety We are back in update 1.11.6 the alpha version of it the full version is not out yet guys It is not on iOS. It is not on Android This is an alpha version that Kafir has given us the privilege of checking out noise and early If you guys want to know a lot more about this the video that we posted last actually goes over quite a little bit of stuff that we went over and i think that you guys are gonna love it but today there's a couple of things that i want to knock out starting off with getting all of our base over here within the steel area upgraded to these brand new 75 slot racks and that can be done with the usage of these wonderful materials right there I'm clicking on that thing bada bing bada boom and the upgrade has been applied and look it's all of that marvelous storage space we're gonna be trying to upgrade our base a little bit and something that you guys actually suggested and that's gonna be going on a raid to see if the new raiding system actually has these labels within the bases like chests that we are raiding and on top of that all we're also gonna be doing some burglar chest hunting out in the wild as soon as the bunker respawns we'll be heading on over there as well but that's most likely gonna be in the next episode because there's some blocked chests there and on top of it all boom we got something a little bit cheeky that i wanted to point out that i noticed when i was looking through the crafting menu and notice something different well you should this tactical backpack right over here might have the exact same crafting recipe meaning that it still has the titanium bar that we do not quite yet have within our possession to craft but that is not what the tactical backpack looked like before this update boom what you guys are seeing here is what the tactical backpack was looking like before this version so it appears that Kafir actually updated the skin for the tactical backpack and from looking around this appears to be the only item in the entire crafting menu that got an update to its skin so what could this possibly mean well, it means that Kafir is paying close attention to the tactical backpack and that most likely means that we can expect it within the near future because, well, I'm just saying, you usually don't update the skin like a lot of these other unattainable things that aren't yet actually in the game. Their skins haven't really changed or anything like that. Like, usually you'll change the skin of something when the time is coming up for that thing to actually be implemented. And following that logic, it appears that the tactical backpack will be coming our way soon and that has me exhilarated because that means that once that thing is possible to get whether it's craftable with the help of titanium bars or maybe we'll be able to specifically loot it as an item because that's the thing we don't necessarily need titanium bars to have this backpack in the game it could be that the backpack isn't craftable but the backpack itself could very well be added so definitely something to keep your eyes and ears peeled upon in that regard as well because this tactical backpack is it's gonna be amazing that is gonna be what unlocks these final five slots and give us and gives us our maximum looting capacity which i think every single one of us wants to be at the absolute max so definitely something to keep your eyes and ears peeled upon there especially because it's new skin like it kind of looks similar to the backpack where it has kind of like the side pockets and obviously like the openable thing it looks a lot more spacious but dude just in general i it's, i need it man Oh, that is going to be amazing, and I can't wait to have that on my back, because when that's on the back, there's going to be five more slots within here as well. But before we go and go on this raid as well, let's go ahead and actually start upgrading our chest, because as you guys saw, we have reorganized our base a little bit, and for the most part, we have managed, like, we still got a couple of rooms over here that ultimately we might actually try to create a steel enclosure around, because now that all of this consolidation has occurred with chests, and the fact that we could actually upgrade them from their normal capacity over here in the 45 slot trunk, all the way up to their 75 slot rack capacity, that means we're going to be able to store an obscene amount of goods within our base and that means that we're going to be able to protect all of those goods with a lot less steel because before our chests do they span through way more rooms meaning now we have a lot more room for activities and a lot less room being taken up aka we also need to protect less room so it's going to be a lot cheaper to maximally protect your goods than it would have been otherwise now just go ahead and continue upgrading all of 
these chests and hello we need to go ahead and get ourselves a little bit more oak luckily we got a nice little stockpile of the stuff right over there and no worries there is definitely plenty more to come because today i want at least this inner steel section of our base to be completely upgraded to the wonderfulness ah dear mama we are starving okay we should go ahead and get a little bit of food here too don't want to be on the starvation side and uh well luckily i well unluckily i don't really have food as the dominant thing in any one of these chests hey and there, there we go we got some beans but if i did have it as the dominant thing within any of these chests it would be a lot easier to tell because again these chests do have this whole labeling thing going on for them now as well but while we continue in trying to upgrade our base to the maximum capacity that we could ever dream of and pretty much the ability to protect an obscene amount of loot i'd actually uh we gotta go ahead and what do we need i think we gotta upgrade only four more chests over here so it should not be too much actually no this is a trunk that or no yeah this is a trunk that's good that's good uh so we gotta get enough hello okay what up minigun i don't know why i clicked on you uh, we gotta get enough stuff here for four more of these uh, now that we have enough stuff in our inventory to finish these upgrades and bask in the glory of our steel room having this insane new capacity and us being able to store a redonkulous amount of goods i'd actually love to hear from you guys in that comment section down below regarding well kind of the big thing is what you guys think about the backpack that we went over a little bit earlier but oh mama just look at the beauty right here i just want you guys to bask bask and bask in this and this is what you guys will be able to work towards now because thanks to this new type of rack chest Oh, baby. Storage room has just become a plenty, which is a mwah, absolutely magnificent sign, if you ask me. And let's just go ahead and get ourselves a couple of weapons here, since we are going to be going out on the hunt, trying to acquire a locked chest, hopefully get our hands on more grenades and seeing what is within those. And of course, eh, or do we go on the raid first and foremost? Let's, let's, let's look around at least like one red zone or something like that, and then we'll head on over to that raid and uh, see what we can't get to the bottom to like i'm saying let me know what you guys think regarding that brand new like max level backpack the new skin that it has assigned to it and how you think all of that could be playing together and not just that i'd also love to hear your guys's thoughts around these new racks and what you guys are going to be doing if you guys are going to be trying to upgrade them if you're going to be like trying to like you know have i mean that's the thing too like within like if you guys have like a little small two by two steel room for example right before you could only have four trunks in there now your steel room can have an insane amount of capacity within it without having to sacrifice as ridiculous an amount of steel as ridiculous of an amount of steel that's what i meant to say so it's just gonna be very good to be able to consolidate things into smaller spaces and just gonna lead to a lot of benefits so i love to hear your guys' thoughts regarding that obviously your guys' thoughts around the raiding as soon as we get towards the proper area and hello toxic abomination and here's the thing i think that extra pocket glitch the way that it works and granata <laughs> i think the way that the extra pocket glitch which is gonna be fixed by the time the full version comes comes out that is one of the reasons that this is still an alpha because there's still some glitches if you guys recall the last uh video there was this awful glitch that was occurring to us where whatever was in one of our extra pockets would disappear i believe that happens as soon as one of your guns in your primary slot breaks i think that is what causes it so i'm just gonna be trying to keep a little bit more of an active eye out on that type of stuff and plenty of bullets out into these toxic abominations and toxic spitters over here but let me know what you guys think regarding the backpack your guys' thoughts around it where you think it might be coming into play and given the fact that it appears like it's close on the horizon which update you guys could think that it might be bundled along with maybe we'll be able to get it as a prize from the camp and like the uh whatchamacallit the trader that appears to be at that camp one of the new multiplayer locations coming at the massive update at the end of the month one that i am very much so exhilarated for because that looks like it's gonna be the biggest multiplayer update we've ever gotten and it's gonna give us a ton of stuff that is gonna make for a true multiplayer experience multiplayer quests all that type of jazz and what is this over here that is definitely not a locked chest at all. oh hello we got a big boy over here we got freaking we got a boss man we got to worry about granada did i just kill all of the dudes around him i don't know oh hello game you good game game you good Ooh, mama. Ooh, mama. why are you lagging now game game now is not a good time to lag don't do this don't do this comrade okay anyways the colonel dude that's another thing too we've been finding I, uh, Dude, I think killing this guy might actually be a potential quest for the raiders, since the raiders do have new quests and whatnot. But let me know what you guys think, and... Oh, check this out. Also, uh, there's green dead bodies over here. You guys seeing this? I think that's because we used the grenade launcher to take them out. Get out of here, wolf. 
I think it's because we used the grenade launcher and accidentally killed them before they actually like arose. Uh, this does not look like it is a locked chest. That looks like it is a dead zombie, but this does not look like a locked chest. Let me know what you guys think regarding the whole brand new backpack and what's going around with that and where you think it might be getting bundled along with you guys' thoughts around the raiding, the racks, and also this new burglar skill. And now that it's coming into play, hopefully the grenades will be able to come across a lot more often in that comment section it's down below and a reminder that that comment is going to put you one or third of the way and so we get to have done at two such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe but that will let you in on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information not to mention the latest and greatest of new update gameplay because as soon as any type of new update update comes out and sometimes even before like the case here where we get to check out this alpha a little bit early we're diving into it we're checking out all of these different things we're showing them off so you guys know to be prepared and what's coming in this update and so you guys can be as prepared for that as possible same thing that we're doing with the info so you guys know what to expect always breaking down that info about the forthcoming updates and whatnot and not just that also as we check out this alpha update early this is another thing i'd actually love to hear from you guys in that comment section down below is i'm more than happy to check out anything that you guys might have questions about such as how today we're checking out the base rating and seeing if this chest update may have actually affected that quite yet and also i think we may have come across a locked chest guys because if i'm not mistaken those things on the side I don't think that those were on the other chest that we just saw. Sorry, dear, didn't mean to kill you there. Uh, I, like, we saw another chest, and... Yeah, if you guys look, it didn't have those things on the side, nor that little, like, kind of sticker on the front. So maybe I'm just tripping. Might definitely be the case here, but I'm kind of crossing my fingers that maybe this chest will have better loot because I, I okay that was actually a different type of chest entirely but still these two things on the side I don't know if I've just never noticed those before hello oh hello how are you doing there okay yeah just stared at each other on our merry way good stuff man uh I do wonder if there might be a lock on this there's like a weird sticker over there yeah probably not that looks like it was a pretty normal looking chest brah, brah. so the search for a locked one will have to continue and we will be doing exactly that but like i'm saying let me know what you guys like what might want to see us check out and you know if there's anything you guys want to see us experiment with before you yourselves get your hands upon this update i'm more than happy to try that experimentation and let's head out over to the pine grove we'll see what we get out of here and then we'll probably make a quick pit stop off at home drop off the rest of these goods and then prepare for that raid and then we'll probably cap things off heading out over to a couple more of these zones as well but if there's anything that you guys want to see us do i'm more than happy to experiment and that is going to be the case with every single update if there's ever something you guys want to see done let me know i'm more than happy to try it out for the sake of fan freaking tasticness and making sure that you guys are as well informed about this jazz as possible let's just continue murdering these schmucks and eh, it does not look like these chests have locks on them which is making me oh no and see that just caused the chest glitch to occur. Oh, what? My, my extra pocket is just... Hello. Okay. Goodbye, pistol. Yep. Like I'm saying, the <laughs> that is the glitch I was talking about. And that is why this update is not yet ready to be completely released. Because I just lost that beautiful thing I had in my inventory. Thanks to this glitch that is going to be patched for the global version. But that notification bell is also a great way to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter on for that weekly giveaway. Not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well. So hope you guys are checking those out. And best of luck in that giveaway as well. But it does not look like we're having any luck finding any locked chests unfortunately which makes me a little bit of sad camper because locked chests are the coolest chests and it looks like we are finding nothing too cool at the moment just plenty of dead zombies but eh, that's about run of the mill here so uh, this actually has me a little bit worried because that means for today's raid since i just glitched out my extra pockets uh it's gonna be kind of hard to use heals so hopefully it's not a base that has all of its stuff within like beyond a huge barrier of sound or something where we need to make like a ton of noise break through a ridiculous amount of walls to get to the good stuff because when the big one appears eh, we're, we're probably in a little bit of trouble i am not gonna lie on that part 
But all right, let's go and listen. This is kind of on the way home too. Let's check out if we might have any luck over here within the green zone because I do believe that those chests can be found within any of these zones. It does not need to be within a specific zone of any kind. It's just in general, I think any zone that can spawn these types of chests or like just these types of chests in general, not like that one specifically, like the other one that we saw too, but uh, that can spawn these types of chests should have a chance at having that locked goodness. And I'm just trying to unlock those capabilities abilities and get to the bottom of them and well i've only found one chest in the zone so far so a little bit of a bummer on that part come on i know that there's more than one chest in here don't do this to me game i do not oh could that be it right there that is but eh, it's not looking locked or nothing like that and I think for the most part, green zones have like two to three chests, never really much more. So I think we've checked out most of it. So, all right, no luck finding one of those chests, but I will continue on my search because from what I've seen, the one locked chest that I have opened has led to a grenade launch, not a grenade launcher, but a grenade that I could then launch with my hands. That is some goodness that I want to have a part of, but... <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I'm just looking forward to hearing what you guys got to say around this backpack because it's so interesting that they have updated it within this update. And I personally, like, let me know your guys' thoughts around it, but I think it's going to be found before the titanium update itself. I think it will initially show up as an item that we could find, but not necessarily craft, you know? Because, like, I mean, you can, for example, find the military backpack or get the military backpack out in the wild although i think mainly from the survivor guide that's like the main way that i can think of that coming but still I, I think there's gonna be some kind of way of getting this before titanium gets added in because titanium is likely not being added in until well they said until the dark zones are added in so maybe that'll have to do with the multiplayer update at the end of the month that's definitely a possibility so like i'm saying let me know your guys' thoughts around this but alrighty then let's get to the bottom of the chest raid and mystery laddies talk to y'all and it's like, and alrighty then, with the help of our chopper over here, and well, let's go ahead and upgrade this shotgun properly. We're gonna have two shotguns along for today's expedition. Never both at the same time, that's a recipe for disaster, but we are gonna have two shotguns during today's expedition, one of which will be our silenced shotgun, and one of which will be the crowd control shotgun. Yes, I know, I know, it's probably gonna make a little bit of noise, but if we play our cards right, we'll be able to do like 80 damage to every single enemy in a wave in exchange for one shot and honestly i think that's a pretty fair trade compared to the durability we'd have to use in one of our other weapons versus being able to do that massive crowd control with the help of the spread shot and honestly here's the thing i'm trying to be productive here well we make our way over to that raid we'll make another pit stop over to the green zone and then after the raid as well uh, depending on how full our inventory is of course but even if it is full we're still gonna make our pit stops over to a couple of those other zones as well because i'm trying to check these out absolutely as much as possible i want to find a locked chest of some sort and get to the bottom of the shenanigans so for now i suppose why don't we just try to gather around everyone gather around gather around i got plenty of shotgun rain where this came from and let's just go ahead and do it in the shotgun rain one big blast take you out right there and there's one of the possible chests there is another one let's freaking go that's it right there boys that i think is actually the level three chest if i'm not mistaken look at that thing look at that thing the amount of stuff protecting that is insane and we got a level up Yeet. uh nothing too great that i need bless up that our burglar skills absolutely maxed out already but let's just shotgun rain you over there and look at that right there boys and girls all right all right all right is the chest in all of its glory i kind of want to chop down this tree so it's not in the way so I'm, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna go collect some wood and some rocks all right i want you guys to see this thing in its full glory so you guys know what to expect if you're out here looking for such things and also maybe gather around some of these zombies and manage to hit them a little bit too but let's freaking go dudes and literally we found this within a green zone these locked chests are going to be possible to be found in every single like randomly generated zone by the looks of it shotgun rain let's take out everyone who was on our case and let's head on back to the good stuff and that's just a bench over there i'm not really interested in you mr bench what i'm interested in is crafting up a, a regular old hatchet right over there chopping down this regular old tree and getting to the bottom of the contents of that thing oh ah, starvation okay we gotta deal with a little bit of starvation too luckily i got my baked beans over here keeping me nice and strong and looky looky there boys and girls oh mama 
I, I'm pretty sure that's a level three chest. Like we need a level three burglar skill, which luckily we have. Because I'm just saying, someone did not want that chest being open. That thing is locked up the freaking wazoo. So without further ado, let's get to picking this freaking lock and let's see what's behind it. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. <laughs> That's it. That's all that we get. This is what I picked the lock for. Uh, well, I don't know if this is a glitch because, again, reminder, this is an early alpha version of update 1.11.6. Uh, that is literally just generic chest loot. So, I don't know if that's a glitch and there's supposed to be better stuff within there or if these are actually that poopy. I'm going to give Kafir the benefit of the doubt until the global version of this because, again, it is an alpha version. And, ah, uh, that's a little bit poopy. But, at the very least, we do know that the lock chest over at the police station and the lock chest over at uh, the bunker. The bunker one I haven't been able to open up yet since we had the bunker open while we begun everything. But, I do know the there's a locked locker at the police station that got us a grenade launcher. I'm pretty sure there's locked chest at the bunker, which can get us, not grenade launchers, grenades themselves. That can get us grenades as well. And, uh, we'll definitely be checking those out. Like, most likely in the next episode, we could go back to the bunker. And I think there's actually a chest on floor two and a chest on floor three potentially and then uh, like I'm saying I also want to explore the motel the gas station and the farm and see if there are any locked doors over in those respective things as well But alrighty then let's finish things up and get to the bottom of the good stuff Let's see if raiding has pushnaps gotten a little bit of a change and I'm just gonna bring the stuff with me because I'll probably just end up putting it away But let's see if the chests available in raids come With the markings on top of them denoting what is within and It's kind of hard to tell We can't see this chest in its entirety, but from kind of like trying to look at it from the corner here That does look like that chest does not have anything on top of it, but I do think that we should be able to knock down a couple walls here and there and no way me, no way me, no way me, give me some good, give me some good, come on, come on, okay, a whole ton of openness, and there's two doorways over here, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, I'ma go left, my bro, let's go ahead and put some C4 down on the door, bada bing, bada boom, and yep, by the looks of it, which, doesn't surprise me because honestly if these chests did have labels on top of them showing us what they had within I'm not gonna lie that'd be a little bit OP so I can kind of understand why Kafir didn't like at least for now from what we're seeing it looks like when you go on a raid they are not gonna have like the signs denoting what is within the chest it sucks but it also makes sense because it just be too ridiculously easy and here's the thing though since this update added in racks and this is gonna have to do with raiding I think in the next update, because every couple of updates or every update, I'm not entirely sure, but the database of bases actually will get updated. You might be like, Star, what are these fancy words that you're doing? Well, so the way that raiding works is that this is what this base... Hey, a little bit of red ticket over there. We also got some shotgun rain. We got to spread to, spread to these schmucks over here. A shotgun rain to all of you dudes. And let's go to a little bit of that full sound shotgun rain action and start taking some big blows over to these boys. Come on, Mr. Floater Bloater. I got plenty of that. Where that came from, boop. See you later, alligator. But, uh, yeah, the way that it works is that there's a database of everyone's base. Because this is not what this guy's base is like to this very instant in time. Every time you guys see a base and a name associated with that base, that is the base of that person at a certain point in time. And usually that certain point in time is when an update of some sort has come out. So what that means is that usually after an update might add in a new structure, like for example, this doghouse, you won't see it in the doghouse update itself, but in one of the following updates when the database is updated and everyone's bases are updated to be more current, it will include more things within. And uh, right now we're not gonna be seeing any racks in anyone's base, I think? And, like, I, th there's the possibility, too, because as you guys saw, like, when we logged in in the last episode, we did have some racks chilling in our base because some of our chests got consolidated because there's now a max of 40 chests throughout your entire base. But I believe that that max also, well, you can also upgrade them to that ridiculous 75 slot rack. 
but uh, whatchamacall, so unless maybe that got taken into account, I, I don't think we're going to be seeing racks yet, but this update does mean a lot for future raiding, because that means that within the future, we should be able to see those racks start appearing within bases, and, well, if someone has a rack, odds are, wow, that had absolutely nothing in it. Well, this is all that we're grabbing out of this base. Okie dokie. Yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I actually, I, I don't think that there's gonna be anything good within there either. I was doing a little bit of research. I believe that there's just one chest within that area, so I kind of, eh, that chest wasn't too great either. So I kind of took my chances, blew into this area, and honestly, we got better stuff out of these two chests. We at least got like a red ticket out of that, but uh, I think that this one is even worse than that. So this base is actually ridiculously awful. Uh, if you guys come across this, I don't even know if you should bother raiding it. There isn't really anything worthwhile. But back to what I was saying with those racks. I mean, and also, let's see what's over here in this chest. Uh, this one could potentially give us something good. Come on, baby. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no anything. No anything at all. Uh, why you do this to me, game? Why you do this? But, um, it's going to be interesting to see those racks come into play. And they're definitely going to be present within future updates most likely the next update after this update that updates the database is sorry for all the updating there uh that updates the database of bases to a more current state is most likely going to take into account those racks and that means we'll be able to start finding racks and that means we're going to be able to start busting open chests that store 75 items and with that here's the thing if someone has created a rack uh, it's gonna take a you guys saw the amount of stuff we had to use to upgrade from a trunk to a rack it's not cheap if you're investing that much into a chest, I'm guessing you're going to want to put your best stuff within that chest. So it's going to be interesting to see how all of that stuff, <coughs> sorry about the cough, ends up coming into play. But uh, with the conclusion of that raid, that is going to start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in. Best of luck to you guys and gals in that $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Not to mention, can't wait to what you guys got to say around this mystical, updated looking, freaking tactical backpack over here. Not to mention the burglar chests and especially the racks and how you guys are going to be using the update. If you guys, what I'd recommend you do is again, just put as many racks as you can within any steel rooms and your goal should be to create steel rooms and to store racks within because then you minimize the amount of steel walls you need to create and maximize the amount of chests you could have within your current walls and within all future walls but uh, let me know what you guys think regarding all this jazz best of luck to you guys and gals again the chopper gas tank and joining the chopper squadron best of luck bringing your pup again the true friend perk loving up your own perks and skills not to mention find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got best of luck building up your base going out on the dopest of raids defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time all throughout. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.